We've had the PC, we've had the web, we've had mobile as a platform, and we believe virtual reality is going to be the next big platform for entertainment experiences. Everyone is going to be having VR experiences as a very natural thing in, in their daily life. In this small, dark room at the Silicon Valley offices of Jaunt VR, visitors are invited to try on a headset and experience the company's big innovation, cinematic virtual reality. Cinematic VR is essentially a branch of virtual reality that's uh, not focused on video games, but it's really focused on uh, video, per se. When you watch a John Cinematic VR experience, you really feel like you've been transported somewhere else. You can look in any direction, to the right, to the left, behind you. You also hear sounds in the spatially correct location. So, for example, if you hear a phone ringing to your right and you look over to your right, you'll see a phone ringing and now the sound will come straight ahead. To create immersive video experiences, Jaunt had to come up with a new kind of video camera. The camera rig consists basically of a sphere of lenses, each lens pointing in a different direction and capturing a different part of the space. That's really different from traditional cameras in that it's a very autonomous system. You don't really have a cameraman anymore. If you had a cameraman, he or she would be in the shot itself. This isn't a totally new concept. John's 360-degree camera is basically the motion picture version of the Google Maps Street View camera. That one creates immersive still images. What makes John unique is what they want to do with the technology. They want to put you inside a Hollywood-style movie. In order to make that happen, John has established a partnership with New Deal Studios, a major Hollywood special effects house. New Deal's creative director, Ian Hunter, is making a sort of virtual reality Godzilla, complete with a miniature city and a man in a monster suit. Shooting in VR, it's completely different than shooting a normal film where you have just one camera looking one direction. In this case, the camera sees everything. So we built a complete set 360 degrees around. We have to leave the set during the takes. So I usually wear a ski mask with tiny little eye holes, and that way I can hide in the shadows and uh, still be able to direct. Roar, roar, roar. The VR experience is a whole new different way of experiencing narrative that hasn't been explored yet. There's every kind of genre out there we can apply this kind of technology to and tell it in a completely different way. This is Aaron, a Bloomberg colleague. I'm going to freak out. I just want you to know that. She's watching another cinematic VR movie. I think you're bleeding. This one's in the horror genre. <laughs> well, that was terrifying. Jaunt is betting that we're going to get hooked on that kind of experience, an experience that's about to become accessible to pretty much everyone. There are a lot of exciting things that are going to be happening soon in the VR space. One of the most interesting is mobile VR. That is, being able to experience VR on your smartphone. It really makes VR accessible to a large number of people. And as this reaches a broader and broader audience, there are obviously great opportunities to build out a business delivering content to consumers. John's technology is less than two years old, and it still has a ways to go, but it's going to require more than just technological advances. It's also going to need a new kind of virtual reality storyteller, a Spielberg or Cameron of immersive cinema who can turn this into the next blockbuster entertainment platform.